Hi everyone, I am Shubham Jhabar. I am a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing J Advanced 2019 Paper 1 Mathematics and the question for this video is this. Let EP A comma D denote the set of all the terms of an infinite arithmetic progression with the first term A and common difference D which is positive. If AP 1 comma 3 intersection AP 2 comma 5 intersection AP 3 comma 7 is equal to AP A comma D then A plus D equals. So essentially there are three sets which are essentially and which are essentially respectively APs with respective first terms and common differences intersection of which will also turn out to be an AP with common difference D and first term A. So we are looking for A and D. Now what is this uh, first uh, AP? It is having first term 1 and common difference 3. So this essentially becomes this. What about the second sequence? It becomes 2, 7, 12, 17, 22, 27, so on and so forth. <clears throat> what about the third sequence? It is 3, 10, 17, 24, so on and so forth. Now, uh, this D essentially would be LCM of common differences of these three APs, which is essentially 3, 5, 7. So LCM of 3, 5, 7 turns out to be 105. Now, how is that? So consider this. Let's say there are three people, Ram, Krishna, Hari. And all these three start jumping from the same spot. Ram taking jumps of 3 meter each. Krishna taking jumps of 5 meters each and Hari taking jumps of 7 meters each. And let's say they start from the same spot 0 meter. So after what distance would they have the common spot again? It is LCM of 3, 5, 7 which will be 105 meters. Now uh, what about A? One way to find A which is essentially the first common term between these three sequences is to write the terms as long as you come across a common term, the first common term between these three sequences. Alternatively, what you may consider is, you may note or observe that the first sequence has terms which when divided by 3 leaves remainder 1, which is obvious but it is good to note. The second sequence has terms or numbers which when divided by 5 leaves remainder 2. So if you keep on writing the numbers of the third sequence till you reach such a number which when divided by 3 leaves remainder 1 and which when divided by 5 leaves remainder 2, you'd get the first common term between these three sequences. So let's see. When 3 is divided by 3, remainder is not 1. When 10 is divided by 3, remainder is 1. But when it is divided by 5, remainder is not 2. 17 divided by 3, remainder is not 1. 24 divided by 3, remainder is not 1. Next we go for 31. When divided by 3, remainder is 1. But when divided by 5, remainder is 1. But we want 2. Next 38 divided by 3, remainder is not 1. Next 45 divided by 3, remainder is not 1. Next 52 divided by 3, remainder is 1. And when divided by 5, remainder is 2 also. So, 52 is A, the first common term, common, uh, the first term common between these three sequences. So A becomes 52 and what we want is A plus D, which is 52 plus 105, which essentially becomes 157, which is our answer. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next question.